How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to you have such The hair. Walking Dead. Lots of tangles. This is Tim. Game Bros. Color. We're back at the farm. Right where we left off. Now, what do we do? Talk to everybody? Hey, Sounds like fun. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just over it's some. Okay. Jesus, heartless people! I swear. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Things were bad before. Bad now, but they're different, you see? People are eating each other. But they weren't before. The banks, the politics, the, the crap. Those things are gone. I think I made the wrong choice right there. In a lot of different colors. Eesh. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh... Wow, first grade. It's easy. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. So, you good? <laughs> anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? No. What so, do you uh, do? What do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Huh. Yeah. My mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Let's go look at what's in the barn. Whoops, the barn sucks. Uh, we over here? Oh, that's over here. What the hell is back here then? Yeah, I'm trapped. How did I get over there? Go around the house or something? What's everybody doing? Seems like an all right dude. Let's go talk to Kenny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? With what? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nope. I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Come on, cars outside. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Lauderdale? The government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. Who got a boat? I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See ya. See ya. I don't see Herschel anywhere. Huh, tree. Herschel? Let's go talk to Duck. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. 
I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Uh. I'm gonna go saw some wood or something. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. Can I saw some wood? Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Yeah, Dad saw that know wood. How bad it is. No, it doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid, a boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Damn. Oh shit, damn. I hate the timers. <laughs> he just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't Unfortunately, I'm like a that. slow reader, so it's, it's hard. Like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh, with my bare hands. That bastard. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. There's Herschel. Uh. Dr. Herschel. Let's do it. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My I'll parents are in Macon. With my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you never tell a lie. To take care of Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her. Yeah. I was looking I was for help in her house. Her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Go for it. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. Let's see if I can move that mouse out of the way. Depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Who wouldn't? Gun. Oh. I'll get my gun. I'm gonna get my gun. How did Doc learn to turn a tractor on? Oh god, a choice. 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 Choice, choice, choice. Duh -duh.
Yeah. Why did you build such a shitty fence? Jesus, pinpoint accuracy there. If only Herschel had listened and helped build the fence. Whose boy? But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Uh. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Well, that wasn't a very nice way to say it, but. Got a lightning bolt well, inside of his truck. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. A lot of people always go into cities when it's zombies out. You don't want to be out in cities when it's zombies out. <laughs> You Cities are bad. They're full of Trucks people. Of gas. People turn into zombies. Like this. Where all the zombies come from? Ooh. I walk into some kind of gang war or something. Worse, they couldn't let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? Oh, one kid. I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Uh, You're a uh, dumb, careless kid. I would too. Then just go. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Uh -huh. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were uh -huh. in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Well, you... Uh uh he wasn't bit hell he wasn't we have to end this now over my dead body we'll dig one hole no i'm cleaning him up there's no bite he's fine don't you fucking people get it we've already seen this happen we let someone with a bite stay in and we all end up bitten shut up we gotta throw well it takes longer than that Smash guy his jesus Eddie, stop him! what do we do about this guy uh -uh. It's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. 
Uh -huh. We need to calm down. You can't. We'll get this kid out of here. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you. Shut that guy's a fuck dick. Up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, you get it. It's a big What if it was your girl? What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? Uh, There's I would. someone in there. It's just locked. I'd put money on the big old guy. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing. He's pretty big. A kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Well, then it takes longer dead. than that. He'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. Then there'll be three. He's just a, a boy. boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> What was he even hit by? No, no, no. Get away from her, you son of a bitch. Oh, it's an impossible one. Oh, okay. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Is everybody down? Stay quiet. Is there an option to not protect her? They're gonna get in. Shut up. Yeah, somebody distract them. The world would be better off without some people. Well, what's wrong with it? It's his heart. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's wrong with him? Nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Oh, somebody flip flop pretty fast. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. I don't want to be in a city. There's a motel. Everybody owns the cities. Out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on Larry's a dick. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. 
For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Can he get theories immediately, the boss? Okay. Scavenge. Scavenge forever. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Uh, I remember the radio. Flip. Honk. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. <sighs> I wouldn't even really two know what to look for. Yes, because batteries are so, so hard to find. Well, unless they are, but how much of a battery is? How is that even possible? Let's look at Lee's family over here. Sucks about your family. Greeting cards. Hello. I don't know what it was, but it looks like food, I think. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, a bar of some sort, probably. I want it. Uh. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. I can give Duck some food. Here, it's Duck. Not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Hey Lee, well, let's maybe talk to a little bit. Him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we. I'm sure you're fine, Kenny. Your support. Thank you, Lee. Uh. How's Duck doing? Make it seem like you're concerned for the kid first. It's just a shock. We're lucky as hell. Nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Little kid. How's she doing? Her family's so dead. Her family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every single day. What is this emotional family. damage you speak of? You guys yeah, all right? All right. We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What, no quacking? Alright, what's, what's the, plan? the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said you Well, zombies aren't exactly rain. It takes longer. That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Uh... They owned this place. They uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. What's he gonna be saying? Don't tell my family your problems? Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? Happened pretty fast, I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you just you might have yeah. a choice. I guess you do what you do. Console. Try to let it go. Come on, Kenny. Ooh, okay. K 
candy bar. Pretty sure there's a battery somewhere in here. Is that it? Battery? Battery. Is that, is that a battery? 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 Battery. Nope. Okay, I can't use the battery. Okay, but it says that it looks like a battery to me. It's either a cup or something. It looks like a battery, though. Alright, Clementine, you get to have a candy bar. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I took care of Clem. That's right. Let's talk to her and see how she's doing. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Glenn's pretty cool. Okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I get you anything? Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I just gave you a candy bar. Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. Well, I have another candy bar. We're checking both of them. So, um... Are you okay? So, uh... uh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good being is good. good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit Don't know how to talk to a little kid. Okay. Can't exactly play games here, but... Uh, okay, I just talked to her, so she's... Not... Uh, ooh. What was that? Another candy bar or something? Oh, I got two batteries. Aha. Uh -huh. Batteries. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. God forbid. Let's see if we can get it to work. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. How to Go battery. Mm hmm. Let's see, I already know what she did wrong. She put the batteries in backwards. Bonk. God damn it. I wanted to close it. <sighs> There, now we close the thing, flip it, and power. As the you fixed it. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges it increases exponentially. And avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full uh, my, my producer is telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Well, I can't imagine why. And, uh... Eh. You're a pretty good shot. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You handle yourself you well. You handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. But, you know. Yeah. Does Lee know? That guy saved you? That guy? Can you believe it? <laughs> Those creeps or, or ghouls With or whatever belief. the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are going to be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? In that parent's huh? basement uh, sort of way. <laughs> are you okay? That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have, you don't to, have be. to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Uh, 
Uh, I want to give. Oh, what? Oh, here. I have one. I have one candy bar left. Let's see. I'm gonna give it to people. I can give it to her. Can I give it to him? I'll give it to her. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's uh really sweet. Don't mention it. Bonus points. Uh anything else I can grab somewhere? ATM. Uh, I guess we'll talk to him. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> uh, <Not> suicidal yet? <laughs> no, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sounds like fun. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Don't know why dog likes to go sit outside. Jesus. Jesus. I can tell you all care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. How'd you end up here? Moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff, and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time on the computer. No, just doing my own thing. On the computer. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Look at the one trapped over there. Definitely his brother. Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? Drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. Saying he know. does have the pharmacy like keys. Anybody, you know, they start rotting and get all chewed up and. Shut up, Doug. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Okay. TVs. Something else. Nothing important. Do you think we're safe here? I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore is safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. Okay, that's all we can do. Oh, wait. What's everyone, What's everyone like? like? Yeah. Here? Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice, you know. <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any credit. Definitely wants She's to the put appendages in Carly. He's a dick. dick. Yeah. Pardon my French. Uh, 
Okay, that's everything I need to talk to him about. Let's head back inside. Okay. Don't know why Doug likes to go out, you know, and watch the zombies while he talks to you. Okay, so the last thing you gotta do is talk to What's Her Face and Larry. And that's it. Okay, yeah. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Gee, I give you food and this is how you treat me? Larry. Lily and Larry, yeah. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. You're blaming me. Ugh. You from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. Oh, so I you're the boring kind. I deal with and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got yeah, here? Yeah, we put the bodies this outside. This is pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Yep. Lee's parents. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. Yes. The owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. What do you think about all this? I, I can say he's got a temper, but then he what says, fuck you. The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. Literally, that's what he to says. Stick together and get through this. There's some things you remember pretty well. But want to say it? I don't want to be a dick, so. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. No point. It just makes things worse. Okay, so we're gonna go into the office. Alive inside? Not anymore. Go in here with Clementine. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Ooh, okay, so let's see, we dealt with all that and the farm, so I think it's been long enough for an episode. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode of The Walking Dead. Goodbye.